My name is Myra Dagipo, ethnic Karen from uh, Burma, Eastern Burma to be specific. Well, I've been here for almost 15 years. I was born in an internally displaced area, we call it shortly IDP. It's also known as the Black Zone, where wars or fighting between the Burmese military or the Burmese troops and the Korean troops going on very often. So my village was like right around the area. Anytime when the Burmese army comes out, we have to run away or we get killed. I didn't even remember. Now that we talk about it, I couldn't even recall how many times I might be in a a normal place like we call home. After uh, the fall of the Korean headquarters, a lot of us, like hundreds of thousands of Korean from the Burma soil fled overnight into Thai soil. That's when I officially became refugee. Everything was surrounded. You go from the beginning of the camp and then the end of the camp, you see like Thai checkpoints. A lot of times when people go outside of the camp looking for food and all those stuff, sometimes they got arrested and many times they got killed too. And women got raped. So when I saw all those stuff, it, it gave me some feeling as if, no, this is not a safe place, but we don't have any other place safer than this. I heard about ESL classes, and then thankfully, they need somebody to work as a librarian. So then I applied for it and I got into it. So life started off, my NGO life started off somewhat like that. I got to the point where I was receiving calls very often from some strangers. Who are you? What are you working? Who are you working for? I started seeing police stop by in front of my house. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should think about going somewhere because my Thai friend also was like, why don't you go away for some years and come back later when things calm down or the situation change? <laughs> 